an online organization that's dedicated to exposing and publicly shaming men who try to exploit underage girls has now expanded here to the East Coast. The Halifax chapter of Creep Catchers has been in operation for only a week and a half, but it has already posted half a dozen videos and generated tens of thousands of views. While there are those who applaud this work, the police are less enthusiastic, saying this kind of digiantalism which is to say digital vigilantalism, or vigi, you know what I'm driving at, could do more harm than good. Here's CTV's Bruce Frisco. You're here to meet a 13-year-old girl. No. Yeah, we have all your chat logs, buddy. The man you're watching is probably having one of the worst days of his life, and a lot of people would say he deserves every minute of it. Man, we're going to put you on the internet. I hope you know that, right? He and others are the first in Halifax to be swept into an elaborate trap, a hoax that hinges on the anonymity of the internet. Using dating and chat sites, the men thought they'd arranged meetings with girls as young as 13. Instead, they found confrontation and cameras. The end result posted uncensored online. You look very young. My daughter looks your age. I would like to get together. It's a safe bet many of the men would have backed away had they known Bruce Meitzen was on the other end of those innocent sounding messages. With six kids of his own, the six foot four, 250 pound Nova Scotian has no particular fear in confronting anyone who might try to exploit children. You don't know what your neighbor's doing. You don't know what the people in your own house are doing, right? And like I said, there's people out here that care about other people that have kids and even people that don't have kids. A lot of the videos have shocked a lot of people. Given the confrontational nature of the work, other members prefer to remain anonymous for their own safety. The local vice president insists this is not entrapment, though. We have certain rules we have to follow when it comes to that. Like, we're not allowed to agree to anything. We're not allowed to ask them for anything sexual. Creep Catchers, the organization, has been around since last year. Founded in Alberta, there are now chapters in other major centers, including Toronto, Vancouver, and closer to home, there's one in St. John as well. As noble as the group's intentions are, though, not everyone agrees with their methods. The public shaming, as I would refer to it as, doesn't really solve anything. Police say useful evidence has to be gathered properly, and members are leaving themselves open to possible violence or lawsuits. The best advice? If they gather any type of information that they think could be relevant to criminal activity, they should pass that along to the police as soon as possible so that we can do an investigation into it. And we all want the same thing. We want this to stop. We want it to stop. There's no need for it. Can I go and watch a movie? I'm not with a 13-year-old man. You're 27. But with a growing list of videos and the number of views quickly adding up, Creep Catcher seems destined to stay, meaning more bad days for those using the Internet to seek the company of children. And uh, the group insists that all of its operations are conducted under the rules set out by the founder of the group out there in Calgary. And that uh, involves keeping logs, screenshots of logs between these men and the underage girls and posting those along with the videos. They say uh, they also offer help and counseling to any of the men uh, they confront. And if any of those men choose to follow up and get counseling, they'll take the videos down immediately. But uh, Steve, some of the critics say the damage is already done at that point. Lots of discussion and debate to be had. Thank you, Bruce. CTV's Bruce Frisco for us from David McKinnon, Halifax Police Headquarters.